Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a fall decoration. And the reason why I'm calling it fall is because this one's going to allow you to be able to use this decoration for both Halloween and Thanksgiving. Yep, it's going to be a twofer, so let's watch how to do it. So I went to Walmart and I bought three of these little jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. And the first thing you need to do is cut the handles off of them. I used some wire cutters. And next I grabbed some Rust-Oleum white and I just used this as the primer before I put on the color that I wanted. And I used a very light gray for two of the pumpkins and a brownish tan color for the third. Next you're going to grab a drill and you need to create three holes, one for each pumpkin. And this is going to allow you to be able to slip the dowel rod into the pumpkin. And in the top pumpkin, I placed a small floral foam block. I placed gravel in the bottom of this vase, but you can use large stones or bricks, just something that gives it some weight. This is a pot that came off of a plant I got from Lowe's, and I went ahead and drilled a hole right in the center. And then I went ahead and placed a 10 pound weight on top of that. This is all just to create a solid base and as well as something to hold that dowel rod straight. Now I inserted this picture so you can get an idea of what I'm about to show you. And I cut a piece of cardboard so that way it'll fit inside this vase. Now this entire section is gonna be completely optional. And the reason why I say it's optional is because I wanna actually take this decoration apart and use it for other things throughout the year. So I'm making this floral part of the decoration removable. So I'm cutting two foam blocks in half because I need to make this into quarters. And I'm making this base flexible because it needs to slip around the dowel stick so that way it can be put on and removed. Now I'm using a piece of floral wire to slip through the block and through the cardboard. This helps secure the board, the floral foam to the board. And then I repeated it for each of the blocks. Next, I'm going to use some of this floral moss and we're going to just pin it to the foam block using floral pins. To make this even more secure, you can also glue this down and pin it as you're going. I wanted to put this in just so you can see because most people don't realize you can manipulate those floral or silk floral uh, items you buy. Here I'm just sliding each of the leaves on up and you can position it wherever you want along the stem. This then creates a longer stem versus what it would have looked like if you just left it the way it came from the factory. And I began to clip it off and decorate as I wanted it. For my floral arrangement, I used several bouquets of flowers 
a few bouquets of foliage and a couple bouquets of grass and other types of floral filler. And you're just going to repeat the same thing for the top pumpkin, the one we put that first floral foam block. Oh wow, where did the time go? So it's the end of October, so let's just turn our whole decoration around and put the jack-o'-lantern facing the back. And now we get the back of the pumpkins and this is where your Thanksgiving decoration comes in. I chose to have thankful, grateful, and blessed on each one of my pumpkins. And the reason why I chose this is because, well, I wanted it to say that. You can write anything you want on there, your last name, um, happy fall, anything you want to put on your pumpkin, you can put on there. I placed these two pictures in here because I wanted you to see a side-by-side -side comparison of the front for the Halloween decoration and the back for the Thanksgiving decoration. I used different leaves in the front first one for the Halloween one. I put a lighter leaf or in the second one you can see that it's a brighter orange leaf. Hi everybody, thanks so much for stopping in to see my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell once you hit the subscribe button. The notification bell allows you 